Oh, <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, 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 
So happy to be here. Great to see my friend Ricky in the audience as well. Um, so yeah, I'm a professional artist. I do speed painting. I travel around the world performing at various events. But my most favorite audience to perform has always been children. So I'm so happy to be here. And I'm performing specially for all the children out here. I'm a self-taught artist. I have not gone to any art school till today. So what you are going to see is my way of uh, painting, which I have learned by doing trial and error like thousands of times, by making mistakes, by learning from those mistakes. So before I could share my story with all of you, I would like to do one quick painting. You guys are ready? Yeah? All right. Track one, please.
I uh, hope you all liked it. Yeah. Come on, I said school children are my most favorite audience to perform. So that means you have to make some noise, guys. Yeah. All right. So, um, again, my name is Vilas. I'm from a place called Ujure. Has anyone heard of this place? Yeah, quite a few people. It is right next to Dharmastala, 60 kilometers away from Mangalore. So, back in 90s when i was going up there yeah so painting and sketching happens to be my hobby just like any other children right i'm sure you would have seen kids start off with painting they do it i mean naturally it comes to them however as pablo picasso said every child is an artist the challenge is how to remain an artist once you grow up even i had that challenge like how do i remain an artist once i grow up right so um I was good in academics. I was good in sports as well. So obviously, at least now, I think we are more open towards as parents uh, for our kids to pursue uh, different career paths, right? But at least in 90s, everybody was like, oh, you have to become, you have to be a doctor or an engineer. That's it. Only two options you have, or go and be IAS or KS, whatever. Of course, I mean, I did like all those uh, noble professions. However, as a child, my passion was, my dream was to become an artist. Now, what do you do? So, I continued to paint while I was a kid, and I got a 8th rank in Mangalore University, that is in academics. 
Then I did a Master of Social Work from Mysore University, specialized in human resources. So again, I was a rank holder. So and I did not, I do not come from an economical level of background, which means how do you survive as an artist, right? You can take a part as a full-time profession, but the question is how do you survive as an artist? How do you make money out of it? How do you take care of your family? That is a big question. So I started working in Bangalore uh, as a human resource officer. I worked for two really big international, uh, multinational companies. Um, I was happy getting good salary. I was really happy enjoying my life. But I would come back from home uh, office every day and do a lot of introspection. <laughs> what we call as in uh, corporate world as SWOT analysis, right? What is my strength? What is my weakness? And all that stuff I was doing. I think the children as kids, back in 90s, the only benefit that we had was we didn't have information in our fingertips. Like, we didn't have Google, we didn't even have Orkut at that point of time. Forget Facebook and Instagram, but we had a lot of time for ourselves. We didn't have much distraction, right? I think the biggest challenge nowadays that all of you would be facing is how to disconnect and when to disconnect from the virtual world and, you know, concentrate on yourself, your family, your friends, your passion. I think that's really important. What really worked for me was the time that I spent with myself doing introspection while working for a multinational company. So I realized I want to pursue my passion. So in 2011, I uh, did a lot of practice. I was part of India's Got Talent. I was a finalist. And then I quit my job in 2011. So now it's been 10, 11th year, in fact, that I'm pursuing my passion. Uh, I'm getting to travel all over the world. I'm so happy to see I have traveled 36 countries performing at some of the biggest events. Along with my friend Ricky Cage, who is there, a Grammy Award winning musician. So we both have performed in United Nations, General Assembly, Geneva, and uh, New York as well. So I got all those opportunities only and only because I dared to dream and I dare to follow my passion. So I would encourage all of you, whatever your passion might be, you want to become a scientist, you want to become a uh, singer, you want to become a stand-up comedian, you want to become a DJ or an artist, whatever it is, you can do it, you have that ability. It's just that believe in yourself and do not compare yourself with anyone else. So with that, thank you so much to the management of Greenwood High International School. Uh, yeah. So uh, the first painting, uh, the Kathakali uh, artwork that I've created, it to the art center. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm sure all of you will get to see this painting every day in the art block. And the next painting that I'm going to create will be dedicated to the sports complex, right? <laughs> so uh, I'm going Oh, I think there is a video, just a one minute video. Are you playing that? transfixed. I mean, you know, what a talent. Really? Wonderful. Very that is real talent. This is something which is amazing. This wonderful young talent. Give it up for Vilas Nayar. Thank you, thank you so much everyone. So all I wanted to say is if I can do it, if a, a kid from a remote village called Ujire can actually pursue his passion and travel the world and loving his job, I'm sure all of you who are studying here in Bangalore in such prestigious school can do wonders. So just believe in yourself and just do not compare yourself with others because I know this is an age of, you know, all the 
uh, Insta Reels and TikToks, even we do get sometimes, you know, those <laughs> inferiority complex where you look at somebody, well, if somebody is good at something, let them be. That is their photo, that is their ability. But I think um, what really helped me was to understand what was my ability. I understood that my ability was not only to paint, but to paint fast. And there is a story actually, when I was a kid in my hometown, the judges came late to one of the uh, art competition. We were on time, the kids were on time. Judges came late and they were like, oh my God, so we, have, we will give you just 10 minutes. Do whatever you want and that's it. And probably I was the only kid who was able to just do a quick sketch in a matter of 10 minutes. And that was my first realization that, yes, I mean, I can paint or sketch without using eraser much which means I can get it right in the first place. Now, if you see here on a black canvas, I'm painting in a matter of few minutes. I make a mistake and I do not have much time to actually go back to that spot and erase. Well, I can do that, but I have a very short period of time to, to achieve that kind of uh, accuracy at the same time entertain the crowd. So that really worked for me, um, that you know, to work on my ability and to develop something out of it. So I wanted to bring art to the public. Otherwise, you will go to art galleries to see a finished work of art. Now, what you're seeing here is art in the making. You're seeing artists at work. So that is my dream, and I'm so happy that I'm living my dream right now. So once again, thank you so much to the management of uh, Greenwood High International School, to the principal, and to my very good friend, Nishant, for making this possible. So I'm going to create one last painting for all of you, and this will be dedicated to the sports complex. And the portrait that I'm going to create, this person is an inspiration to all of us. He made India proud at international level. So I'm sure looking at this portrait in the sports complex, I hope it will inspire many more future generation of sports person. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Vilas Naik, for not only entertaining us, but for those words of encouragement for the kids. Uh, Mr. Vilas Naik uh, uh, sketches and paints a series of uh, paintings as an Incredible India series. I think what I would like to call it is part of an Incredible India series. Uh, we've got a few other artists over here. Mr. Ricky Cage is here, Mr. Parish Mati, uh, and uh, Andhi Raja. So you'll get to see all these uh, artists and talk to them after the event. Uh, give a big hand to Mr. Vilas Naik. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Thank you. Uh, the main event is going to start in a few minutes. Uh, we request all to maintain silence as the dignitaries are going to arrive any minute. Thank you.
अल्लाह वहीं कुपुड़ा, वहीं कुपुड़ा ना, बोला, वहीं कुपुड़ा सर सुल तो पुलिस ने सुल सेंट्री जरा सर कल से तरह सुल तो ऐडिया
ಸುತ್ಕೊಂಡು <laughs> Thank you. 
ಬನ್ನಿ ಬ್ರೋ ಬೇಗ ಹಿಂದೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಲೈವ್ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಬೇಗ ರಿಬ್ಬನ್ ಬಂತು ಬಗ್ಗು ರಿಬ್ಬನ್ ಬಂತು ಮುಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು
the national anthem played by the police band. principle leads us in prayer. Kindly rise as we pray. Bless, O Lord, this school and use it in all things according to thy will. May thy presence be ever within its walls. May it stand always for all that is true, noble, lovely, and of good report. Grant that we and others may so gain from its life. 
that many may bless thee for the day when it was founded and that its work may be extended and continued for the generations yet to come. Please rise as we play the school song. associated with positivity, warmth, and joy. It is considered to be the harbinger of brightness and acts as a guide, keeping us from stumbling in the dark. To begin today's event on an auspicious note, we request the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Thava Chankihalot, and the Honorable Minister, Sri G. Muniratna Naidu, along with the Chairman and Principal, to come forward for the ceremonial lighting of the lamp. We will now have an invocation dance performed by the students of Greenwood High. I'm 
that truly breathtaking performance. Born in the Melnur district of Andhra Pradesh, Sri M. Venkaya Nair is the first vice president of India who was born after India's independence. Sri Naidu's remarkable journey in public life began from being a grassroots political worker, student leader, and member of the Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly, to becoming a member of parliament, president of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Union Minister, and finally, to being the Honorable Vice President of India. During the course of his 50-year-long political career, Sri Naidu has undertaken and faced several challenges and responsibilities, all of which he has handled with commendable patience and stoicism, adding liveliness to every position he has served with his witty couplets and humor. It is our absolute pleasure to have you as our chief guest today, sir. <laughs> We request our chairman, Mr. Vijay Agarwal, along with the Board of Trustees, Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Miharotra, Mr. Jagannath Subarao, Mrs. Adrija Agarwal, and Mr. P.K. Mishra to felicitate the Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu. भारतीय जनता पार्टी के एक वरिष्ठ सदस्य एवं कर्नाटका के राज्यपाल हैं। उन्होंने 2014 से 2021 तक सामाजिक न्याय और अधिकारिता मंत्री के रूप में कार्य किया श्री गहलोत जी ने एक छात्र नेता के रूप में अपनी राजनीतिक यात्रा प्रारंभ की और फिर लोकसभा में शाहजहांपुर का प्रतिनिधित्व किया आगे चलकर वे राज्यसभा के प्रमुख सदस्य बने और आज वे कर्नाटका के उन्नीसवे राज्यपाल हैं माननीय महोदय आपका हमारे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट द चेयरमैन एंड बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज टू फेलिसिटेट आर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर द ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री थावर चंद गहलोत Oh, oh, oh. 
Shri G. Munirathna Raidu is currently serving as the Honorable Minister of Horticulture and Planning, Program Monitoring and Statistics in the Government of Karnataka. He has seen success throughout his career, first as a film producer, having produced films such as Rakta Kanyaru and Anadaru, among others, and then as a politician, serving the country with pride. It is our pleasure to have you in our midst today, sir. We request our chairman, Mr. Bajaya Agarwal, trustee, Mrs. Mary Agarwal, and our principal, Mr. Aloysius Tinello, to felicitate the Honorable Minister. <laughs> Agarwal, Chairman Greenwood High, to finally welcome our chief guest, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu, guest of honor, Sri Thawar Chand Gehlot, and the Honorable Minister, Sri G. Muniratna Naidu. <laughs> Namaskar, Subodaya, Elarigu. We are deeply honored to have amongst us the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkaya Naiduji, as our esteemed chief guest. He is truly an exemplary statesman and a leader par excellence. Sir, we are thankful to you for accepting our invitation to grace this occasion. It is indeed my privilege to welcome you, sir. I am also very happy today to welcome Sri Tawar Chand Gailorji, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, who has also been so gracious to be part of our function today. Sir, a warm welcome to you, sir. It gives me great pleasure to also welcome Sri Muni Ratnaji, the Honorable Minister for Horticulture and Planning. Welcome. Sri Prash Maitiji, Padma Sri winner, one of the most renowned artists who is here with us today. I welcome you, sir. A hearty welcome to the many dignitaries present here our esteemed journalists, dear principals, vice principals, teachers, students, and my dear friends. While education is important for the mental development of children, likewise, sports, music, and fine arts is important for their emotional and physical well-being. This develops the personality of children and instills the qualities of leadership, team spirit, discipline, and confidence. Today is indeed a momentous occasion as we inaugurate La Italia, an ensemble of fine arts and our state of the art indoor sports arena. This, I believe, is a step forward in our mission at Greenwood High to deliver holistic education and provide the best tools to achieve it. Thank 
We are humbled by this magnificent achievement and would like to thank each one of you who has been with us in this extraordinary journey. My appreciation goes to our Girinud family. It is only due to your hard work and excellence that we are recognized today as one of the best schools at the national and international level. My happiness knows no bounds to have you all here on this memorable occasion. It is my belief that in near future, our school will rise to even greater heights and make our country proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. अब हम अपने मुख्य अतिथि कर्नाटका के माननीय राज्यपाल श्री थावर चंद गहलोत जी से अनुरोध करते हैं कि वे मंच पर आकर अपने बहुमूल्य शब्दों से हमें लाभान्वित करें हाई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल बेंगलोर के कला एवं संगीत खंड के भवन और स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स के अवसर पर इस शुभारंभ कार्यक्रम में मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में विराजमान भारत के उपराष्ट्रपति आदरणीय श्री एम वेंकैया नायडू साहब कर्नाटक सरकार के यशस्वी मंत्री आदरणीय मुनि रत्ना जी ग्रीनवुड हाई इंटरनेशनल हाई स्कूल के चेयरमैन आदरणीय श्री विजय अग्रवाल जी प्रिंसिपल आदरणीय आलोसिस डी मेलो जी सम्माननीय अतिथिगण संस्था के सम्माननीय शिक्षक गण प्यारे छात्र छात्राओं देवी और सज्जनों मैं आप सबको प्रणाम करता हूं और आपका अभिनंदन करता हूं मैं विश्व प्रति प्रसिद्ध संस्था में आकर के अति प्रसन्न हूं निश्चित रूप से बेंगलोर जो शिक्षा के हब के रूप में जाना जाता है इसी प्रकार की संस्थाओं के कारण है अत्यंत ही प्रसन्नता का क्षण है कि मैं प्रतिभाशाली बच्चों और उन्हें देश के भविष्य के लिए तैयार करने वाले योग्य विद्वान शिक्षकों के बीच में उपस्थित हूं कर्नाटक राज्य गुणवत्तापूर्ण तकनीकी रोजगार मुखी शिक्षा उपलब्ध कराने में देश के अग्रणी राज्यों में से एक है बेंगलुरु वर्तमान में शिक्षा का केंद्र है यहाँ अनेक उत्कृष्ट शिक्षा संस्थान है उनमें से एक ग्रीनवुड हाई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल भी है लोकतांत्रिक समाज में सक्रिय स्वतंत्र सोच और सामाजिक रूप से जिम्मेदार नागरिक बनाने के लिए शिक्षित करने के साथ साथ छात्रों में बौद्धिक नैतिक शारीरिक सामाजिक और भावनात्मक क्षमता विकसित करने के दृष्टिकोण एवं उद्देश्य के साथ ग्रीनवुड हाई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल कार्य कर रहा है मुझे अवगत कराया गया है कि ग्रीनवुड हाई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल को 2020-21 के लिए स्कूल एक्सीलेंस अवार्ड द्वारा बेस्ट डे कम बोर्डिंग को एड स्कूल श्रेणी के लिए मैंगलोर में कर्नाटक में उत्कृष्ट श्रेणी में रखा गया है ग्रीनवुड हाई इंटरनेशनल स्कूल को वर्ष 2021 के लिए 
एजुकेशन वर्ल्ड इंडिया स्कूल अवार्ड द्वारा बेस्ट इंटरनेशनल डे कम बोर्डिंग को एक स्कूल श्रेणी के लिए बेंगलोर और कर्नाटक में तीसरे स्थान पर है मैं इसके लिए उन्हें बधाई देता हूं विद्यालय ने अपनी 18 वर्ष से कम आयु में विश्व पटल पर सफलता के अनेक कीर्तिमान स्थापित किए हैं उत्कृष्ट परीक्षा परिणामों श्रेष्ठ गतिविधियों के कारण इस विद्यालय की गणना सर्वश्रेष्ठ विद्यालयों में होती है निश्चित रूप से ये प्रशंसनीय है शिक्षा के साथ साथ यहाँ के विद्यार्थियों ने गोल्फ शतरंज फुटबॉल आदि अनेक खेल गतिविधियों में भी राष्ट्रीय एवं अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर ख्याति प्राप्त की है इसी कड़ी को आगे बढ़ाते हुए एवं अपने छात्रों को विश्व स्तरीय खेल सुविधा उपलब्ध करा कराए जाने हेतु आधुनिक सुविधाओं से युक्त स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स का निर्माण भी किया गया है जिसका शुभारंभ आदरणीय भारत के उपराष्ट्रपति वेंकैया नायडू साहब के कर कमलों से आज हुआ है विद्यार्थियों के सर्वांगीण विकास के लिए कला नाट्य तथा संगीत शिक्षा पर भी ध्यान दिया जाता है इन विधाओं में छात्रों को पारंगत किए जाने के लिए आधुनिक सुविधाओं से सुसज्जित एक अद्भुत भवन तैयार किया गया है जहां वे अपनी सारी कल्पनाओं को साकार कर सकेंगे बहुत ही प्रसन्नता का विषय है कि इन सुविधाओं का लोकार्पण देश के माननीय उपराष्ट्रपति आदरणीय श्री वेंकैया नायडू जी के कर कमलों से किया गया है मुझे आशा ही नहीं पूर्ण विश्वास है कि इन उत्कृष्ट सुविधाओं का उपयोग कर इस विद्यालय के विद्यार्थी देश और दुनिया में संस्थाओं और राज्य को गौरवान्वित करेंगे मैं विद्यार्थियों से कहना चाहूंगा कि शिक्षा और खेल के साथ साथ ऐसे सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रमों में भी बढ़ चढ़कर भाग ले जिससे आप शारीरिक और मानसिक रूप से भी स्वस्थ और सशक्त हो आप देश का भविष्य होने के साथ साथ देश के विकास का एक महत्वपूर्ण हिस्सा है आईआईटी, आईआईएम जैसे देश के बड़े बड़े शैक्षणिक संस्थानों और विश्वविद्यालयों से जुड़े युवाओं को शोध की बदौलत आज देश तेजी से विकसित राष्ट्र बनने की ओर अग्रसर हो रहा है इतना ही नहीं आज भारतीय छात्र छात्राएं विदेशों में जाकर भी विश्व के लोगों को अपनी प्रतिभा से आश्चर्यचकित कर रहे हैं बच्चों एवं युवाओं को भविष्य की सही राह दिखाने और देश में समावेशी विकास को बढ़ावा देने के लिए यह आवश्यक है कि शिक्षा क्षेत्र में प्रौद्योगिकी को बढ़ावा दिया जाए शिक्षकों के प्रशिक्षण की व्यवस्था की जाए समावेशी शिक्षा प्रणाली पर जोर दिया जाए गुणवत्ता शिक्षा को बढ़ावा दिया जाए आज के समय में शिक्षा की गुणवत्ता बढ़ाने के लिए टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत जरूरी है कक्षाओं में डिजिटल लर्निंग टूल का प्रभावी उपयोग कक्षा में छात्र की व्यस्तता और भागीदारी को बढ़ा सकता है भारत द्वारा 2015 में अपने अपनाए गए सतत विकास एजेंडा अनुसार 2030 तक सभी के लिए समावेशी और समान गुणवत्ता युक्त शिक्षा सुनिश्चित करने और जीवन पर्यंत शिक्षा के अवसरों को बढ़ावा दिए जाने का लक्ष्य है राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति 2020-21 की शताब्दी की पहली शिक्षा नीति है जिसका लक्ष्य हमारे देश के विकास के लिए अनिवार्य आवश्यकताओं को पूरा करना है हमारा देश विकास के दौर में है और हमारे पास आधुनिक और भविष्य की आवश्यकताओं के अनुरूप नई राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के मार्गदर्शन एवं निर्देशन में नई राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति के कार्यान्वयन के हर स्तर पर शिक्षाविदों विशेषज्ञों और शिक्षकों का योगदान प्राप्त हो रहा है कर्नाटक राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति को लागू करने वाला देश का पहला राज्य है स्थानीय भाषा को महत्व देते हुए हमें उसमें अध्ययन करने का प्रयास करना चाहिए ऐसा प्रयास कई राज्य कर भी रहे हैं जिससे हम अपनी बात को अच्छे से रख सकें और दूसरों की बात को भी समझ सकें 
मुझे ये कहते हुए भी खुशी हुई है कि इस संस्था द्वारा भी अपनी मातृभाषा में पढ़ाई की सुविधा उपलब्ध कराई जा रही है जो विद्यार्थियों के लिए हितकर है यह जानकर खुशी हो रही है कि आधुनिक सुविधाओं से परिपूर्ण इस परिसर में हमारी प्राचीन शिक्षा पद्धति और आधुनिक शिक्षा पद्धति का मिश्रण इस संस्थान में दिख रहा है जिसकी महती आवश्यकता भी है इस विद्यालय में छात्रों के सर्वांगीण विकास पर ध्यान दिया जाता है मैं आप सभी विद्यार्थियों से अनुरोध करता हूं कि इन अभूतपूर्व सुविधाओं का उपयोग कर अपना बहुआयामी विकास करें और अपने आने वाले कल को संवारे विद्यालय ने बहुत ही कम समय में अद्भुत उपलब्धियां प्राप्त कर राज्य एवं देश में अपना श्रेष्ठ स्थान बनाया है इसके लिए संस्थान के चेयरमैन श्री मान विजय अग्रवाल जी और मैनेजमेंट टीम शिक्षक गण एवं कर्मचारियों को मैं बधाई देता हूं और आशा करता हूं कि भविष्य में भी आप छात्रों का उत्कृष्ट मार्गदर्शन करते रहेंगे मैं इस प्रसिद्धि प्राप्त संस्था के भविष्य में भी और अधिक प्रसिद्धि प्राप्त करने की शुभकामनाएं देते हुए अपनी बात को समाप्त करता हूं धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय करना अपने शब्दों से हमें प्रेरित करने के लिए धन्यवाद श्री गहलोत जी श्री एम वेंकैया नायडू ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू गिव दी इनग्रल एड्रेस कर्नाटक गौरवान्वित राज्यपाल श्री तवरचंद गेहलोट कर्नाटक सचिव श्री मनरत्न नायडूव ग्रीनवुड इंटरनेशनल प्रौढ़शाले अध्यक्ष श्री विजय अगरवाल ग्रीनवुड हई इंटरनेशनल प्रौढ़शाले प्रांशुपाल श्री अलो सुमेलो ग्रीनवुड शाल शिक्षक सिब्बंदी वर्ग नत्मीय व्यार्थी सोदर सोदरिया नमस्कार ग्रीनवुड हई इंटरनेशनल शाल कले नाटक संगीत समर्पित वाद अत्याधुनिक क्रीडा समुच्चय कला स्टुडियो जोगूरी उद्घाटू नन तुम सतोषवा My dear students, teachers, parents, brothers and sisters, I feel very happy to be admitted to all today to inaugurate this art and the sports facilities in your prestigious school. You are all aware. education is the foundation on which the progress of a nation society nation and humanity as a whole rests it is a transformative tool which empowers people with the knowledge and imparts requisite life skills and additionally education serves as a medium for the transmission of our rich cultural inheritance this transformation towards intellectual development of an individual begins at school i am happy to note that the greenwood high international school has been providing quality education supplemented by rigorous sports and co cultural activities active participation in sports and games is essential for both physical and emotional growth of children i am reminded of the words of mahatma gandhi ji who observed by education i mean in all round drawing of the best in the child and man in body 
mind and spirit. Therefore, our education institutions must give equal importance to students, studies, sports, co-curricular and recreational activities. Such an approach will lead to all-round growth of students and make them more confident individuals. My dear friends, this physical fitness is very much required. If you are physically fit, you will be mentally alert. If you are lazy, then you will become crazy. This has to be understood by one and all. And all education institutions, primary to higher, secondary to high school to college, must have sports facility. Must have recreational activities. Must have cultural activities. Must have the other activities such as gardening. Gardening also is very important. Because gardening means trees. Trees, importance I need not explain to you. There is no life without tree. There is no life without water. So water conservation, reuse, recycle, reduce is very important. Rainwater harvesting, tree plantation, and then other extracurricular activities are a must. The new education policy insists on this. And I urge upon all the state governments, education institutions, that they must give priority to sports, extracurricular activities, and also developing spiritual mind among the children. Spirituality do not mean religion. Religion is our personal choice, but our culture, our heritage, our dharma, we should all follow in our life. The erosion of values is causing havoc in the world for the humanity. So we must restore values, preserve our heritage, promote our culture, and be proud of an Indian, feel proud that you are a Bharatiya. We have our own languages. We must promote them and we must feel proud. But Vividata me ekata Bharat ka visheshata. Alag bhasha, alag vesh, phir bhi apna ek desh. Irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion and region, we are all one, Indians, Indians first. This should be remembered by one and all. There should not be any discrimination. Unnecessary controversy should not be encouraged. Like the controversy that is going on in Karnataka now. In a school, you are, you are all guided by the school uniform. Whatever uniform it is. And also discipline, dynamism, dedication, devotion. That will give promotion to your the nation. And education. I am happy Mr. Vijay Agarwal is doing other business. My advice to him and his family is he earned money in the other business. But spend money here in the education promotion. <laughs> education is a mission. Education is a mission, not for commission. There should not be any omission. We should not give any remission. And work for the promotion of the nation with a passion. This is what is required. Nothing more is needed to be said. Nothing more is needed to be said. I am very happy, impressed by the facilities that you are creating. And after reading about this, after seeing this, I feel that this is an ideal education institution. Ideal. Not ideal. Ideal. This has to be kept in mind. The teachers, the management, the parents and the students, they must all work in that direction. 
my dear youngsters india is on the move india is a great civilization once upon a time students from entire globe they used to come to india and read here because of the advent of a invasion by the britishers we lost our conscious we forgot our roots it is time again back to roots back to our own culture and see to it that our children who are the future they are guided properly the recent experience of this pandemic we have all seen how the nation and the humanity has suffered for that one should remember that we must respect the nature nature culture for the better future this is my advice to all of you preserve the nature sun moon water trees these are all nature we must preserve it sun india is having plenty of sun not suns sun yes you young it's a great asset given to us expose yourself to the sun to the moon and also enjoy the pure of pure water don't pollute it and also plant the trees and grow them and live happily with them with the nature happily see what is required of course asset creation create wealth promote wealth but also distribute wealth learn earn and return to the society share and care is the core of indian philosophy share and care is the core of indian philosophy penchuko ponchuko andar tho kalisi danni anubhavinchu deeniki mana andarki kavalsindi mana bharatiya sanskruti sampradayam moolalanu manam gurtu pettukovali prathi okkaru mana matru bhashana marchi pokoradu do not forget mother tongue apna matru bhasha ko kabhi bhulna nahi chahiye जो और पांच चीज बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है एक मां जिन्होंने आपको इस अद्भुत जन्म दिया मां को कभी बोलना नहीं चाहिए रिमेंबर रेस्पेक्ट द मदर एंड सेकेंड रिमेंबर द जन्म भूमि द प्लेस विच एज गिवन बर्थ टू यू डू समथिंग टू द जन्म भूमि एंड थ्री matru bhumi the nation which has given you this beautiful opportunities this great land do something to protect to promote the unity and integrity of the nation and fourth is the promotion of the culture respect to elders respect to other creatures chiva ko chakkara betti paavu ko paalu boosi చుట్టుకు బొట్టు పెట్టి పశువు కూడా పసుపు రాసి దండం పెట్టి అంటే ఒక గొప్ప జాతి మంది దట్ ఇస్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కంట్రీ వీ మస్ట్ ప్రిజర్వ్ దట్ కల్చర్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఫైనలీ గురు గురు మీన్స్ జ్ఞాన్ దేనే వాళ్ళే అమ్మకు జ్ఞాన్ దేనే వాళ్ళే గురువు కో కభీ బోల్నా నై చాహియే గూగుల్ ఆనే కే బాద్ బి గురు కా మహత్వ హై गूगल को रिपेयर आए तो भी कौन रिपेयर करेगा गुरु को बुलाना पड़े इफ देर इज ए रिपेयर फॉर द नेट और द गूगल यू हैव टू कॉल द गुरु देर इज नो वे सो गुरु इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो चिल्ड्रन शुड रिमेंबर ऑल दिस एंड ऑल्सो वर्क इन दट डायरेक्शन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स एज आई टोल यू नथिंग मोर इज needed to be told some people have the doubt sir if i read in mother tongue i will not go up one boy told me sir mother tongue is okay but if i don't don't learn other language what will happen i will not go up i said mai aisa koi niyam nahi hai maine bhagwan se baat kiya bhagwan ne kaha aisa koi niyam nahi hai koi bhi mera paas expiry date hone ke baad aa sakte hai aaram se aisa unhone 
God has told me that anybody can reach him after the expiry date is over. There is no need for any particular language or learning only English. Nothing wrong in learning English. Learn English. Learn French. Learn Russian. Learn Hindi. But learn first Kannada, your mother tongue. Kannada Kasturi. Kannada, Telugu, Malayalam, Tamil, Marathi, Punjabi, Bojpuri, Assami. So no beautiful languages are there in the country. First promote that mother tongue and then learn other language. Mother tongue is like your eyesight. The other languages are like your spectacles. <laughs> if you have eyesight, you will have a better sight by wearing spectacles. If you don't have a sight, even if you wear ribbon glasses, Juban se kuch aayega nahi. This has to be understood. So, promote the mother tongue, promote the culture, our folk arts, our dances, Katakali, Kuchipodi, Bharatanatyam, any dance, other dance. But dance must have some meaning. You know nowadays modern dance, no meaning. Our dances, our other cultural activities, there is some message in everything. So keep that in mind. And also you can practice classical music or other music. But you should give music to the ears of the people. You should not cause nonsense and a nuisance. This there should be some sense. This has to be understood by all. Friends, as I told you, I am very much impressed by the facilities. And I am happy that Sri Vijay Agarwal and his family are devoting attention towards the cause of education and has set up this school of international and national standards. I hope in future also, they will focus on maintaining these standards and then make it as a more ideal school which can be replicated by others. Once again, my dear youngsters, you have a bright future. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Namaskar Jai Hind. for that truly wonderful speech. We would now like to invite our principal, Sri Aloysius Tamalo, to say a few words of thanks. To the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venka and I do, the Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tavalchan Gehelo, the Honorable Minister, Sri G. Muniratta and I do, esteemed guests, members of the school community, students, teachers, administration staff, and my support staff. We have come to the end of this unique and special inauguration ceremony and I would like to take a few moments to say thank you, Danyavad. My sincere appreciation to the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkara Naidu, for accepting our invitation. Thank you, sir. And gracing this momentous occasion. Thank you for your invaluable thoughts and for delivering a memorable address. I think we will all remember your advice, sir. May Hamara Rajapal, Hamari Rajapal, Maninir Shri Tawarchan Ghelo Ji, Kashukru Gujarhu, Jinone Apne Upastiti, 
में हमें गौरवान्वित किया और अपना अमूल्य समय निकाल के हमारा मार्गदर्शन किया टू द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर श्री जी मुनि रत्ना नायडू थैंक यू सर फॉर बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस जर्नी On this event, an event of this dimension needs an eye for detail and meticulous planning for a gratifying, successful execution. I am indeed very fortunate to be backed by a very dedicated chairman and board of trustees. I thank the chairman, Mr. Bidhi Agarwal, the members of the board of trustees, Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Mehrotra, Mr. Jagannath Subbarao. Ms. Adrija Agarwal and Mr. P. K. Mishra for their minute-to-minute -minute support, guidance, and involvement in organizing this great event. Thank you, sir. Thank you to our administrative administrators and team, faculty, and support staff who have worked together to make this event so memorable. To everyone within our organization. Thank you for your willingness to change. You change direction almost at a moment's notice, from instruction to transport, to food, to technology, to maintenance and to operation. Finally, it would be amiss if I did not acknowledge the collective efforts of our media and press representatives. I appreciate their time and attention to ensure. that our school is presented to the world for what it truly is known for rooted in knowledge i need to personally thank the police department and the intelligence department the dc bangalore urban the sp bangalore rural and his team the protocol department government of karnataka the tashildar anekal and other government of india of government of karnataka officials who were associated with this event for the last 15 days thank you for having made this atmosphere safe for everyone my special thanks go to mr paresh maithi winner of many international awards including the padma shri and a world renowned artist Thank you sir for being with us today. To Mr Ricky Cage, a very silent gentleman. He is a Grammy award a Indian Grammy award winner and his music was played at the Republic Day celebrations this year. Thank you Ricky for being part of us. Mr Vilas Naik, thanks to Sri Vilas Naik, a world renowned speed painting artist. who enthralled our students and guests with his love uh, live performance before the inaugural event the beautiful kathakali and the neeraj chopra paintings he created in minutes will be displayed in our arts and sports arena to inspire our students to the principals vice principal well wisher of our school to our parents who have stood by this institution for the last 15 years thank you i would fail in my duty if i do not thank the children who make this institution you are the heart and soul of greenwood i and as medically put if the heart starts pumping the body is healthy thank you for being what you are and for the brilliance that you have always shown in art sports and academics god bless you all and thank you for being with us i request you all to stand as the police band will play the national anthem and i request everyone to keep standing until the guests have left the dais thank you and have a nice day
ఇల్లు థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ బాయ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆడియన్స్ టు జస్ట్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ అప్పుల్ ఆఫ్ మినిట్స్ the chief guests and the guests of honor will uh, leave in a couple of minutes after that we want the form tutors to take the students form tutors and class teachers to take all students back to the icsc campus cafeteria for lunch all i invite invitees that's uh, a guest from the parent community the artist guests and the management guests we request you to uh, please wait over here all the non form tutors i request you to please come to the second third and the fourth row and take a guest to the sports arena for a visit the sports teachers are already in the sports arena I request all the arts music teachers dance drama teachers to move art center and await the arrival of the guests all non form tutors in the guest relation committee please step forward to the second third and fourth floor sorry second third and fourth rows <laughs> to take the guests to the sports center and then the art center we request all guests to have lunch over here on this campus before we close the evening.